So when people talk about they, I got the money, yeah, I got the money, but you really don't. Still living Actually, at home because Still I have the home. money because I paid for it and I didn't go into debt for it. So I do have the money. I just don't have the money for the student loans, but I have the money for the wedding. You need to go viral for that. I'm I, just saying I have I'd the money. The, I'd rather have a wedding that costs thirty thousand dollars than to pay off thirty thousand dollars of student loans. That's what you say. That's what you. That's what you just said. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's not, that's that's absolutely how I felt and probably how I feel now. <laughs> wow, that is. I'm nice. all about the moments. The student loans gonna be there. In the career that I am in, in my 10 years, it will go away or it won't, whatever the case may be. By the way, we don't have student loans, so this is all hypothetical. But, yeah, that, that would be my my mindset behind, this, behind so, the student loans going to be there. So, gentlemen, make sure you ask your spouse what's <laughs> more important to them before you get into your marriage or engagement. If you guys are in debt and you sit in there like, listen, baby. We have the thing is, no one's sitting there doing that. Neither you or me were sitting there like, oh, we got student loans. What are we gonna we gonna pay these student loans or pay this wedding? That was never even a discussion. So, gentlemen, like I was saying, <laughs> if you are in debt and you sit there with your spouse and you say, and if this is the purpose of the podcast, maybe there's a youngster out there or oldster out there, and they're like, listen, I'm thinking about this this marriage conversation. Sit down and have the conversation. Like, all right, we're both in debt. How much do we really want to spend on this wedding? You got thirty thousand dollars in loans. This wedding's gonna cost thirty thousand dollars. How about we cut? How about we cut somewhere? And if they say, and it was actually wasn't this a conversation? I love these Instagram conversations. There was something where this woman said, "I want to buy a house or something like that," and the man said, "Hey, let's do this first. And I think she had a down payment for the house, and he said, "I'm gonna use his down payment to pay off some debt or something like that." And she's like, "No, send me my down payment back, and like the wedding is off." This is like, I don't, I don't get what you're saying. So she wanted to buy a house right? and she sent him like the down payment. Number one, I don't know why she's sending him the down payment, but either way. Mm -hmm. So she's sending him the down payment and he said, instead of us buying this house, how about we use this money to pay off our debt? Like okay. I'll match the down payment and we pay down some debt. And she said, no, you know, why would you think about that? I'd rather get the house, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then he said, babe, if you're serious about our future, let's do this. And she was like, no, send me my money back. And the wedding's off type of thing. Oh, okay. I don't remember that one, but I think it's a stretch to say the wedding is off, but that means there's probably a bigger uh, money issues is how I see it and how they communicate when it comes this to is, money. This is why they should have had this podcast before. This Either is way, super important. The thing about it is when it comes to money, people are going to do what they want. They are. And people know maybe what's right or wrong. And I this is not me saying paying off debt is right because I don't technically believe that. Um, paying off the student loan debt is right versus getting married at all because I'm all about experiences. I'm all about like people be like, yeah, but it's just one day. Cool. One day I'm going to remember forever. I have pictures, I have video, I have experience. That's what I like. So everybody has their own individual thing as to what they value. Mm -hmm. um, and... So I think it just depends on the person in the relationship, but also the main point of this is having that communication, right? Mm -hmm. And having those discussions as to how, do, what do you think about this? This is what I'm feeling. Should we move forward with this? So on and so forth, which brings me to that whole uh, money conversation about 50-50 um, and mm -hmm. what a man okay. should pay for versus what a woman should pay for. So on and so forth. Um, and, I don't know. We, for us, we put our money together. So I guess we pay in 50 50. I guess we 50 50, essentially. No. Right? It's all in one pot. And we've done this from day one, too. There yeah, so the money that I make, the money that you make is all in one pot. So it's not 50 50. It's so what is it? 100 100. You are giving some of your. Yeah, I guess it's 100 100. <laughs> I guess so. There's no, I'm not giving you half of my money and you're giving that's half true, to that's one true. pot. No, it's. It's all. I'm giving yes. you 100% of my money that I make. make from, and from you, anything. From anything. You are putting 100% of everything that you make. Yeah. <laughs> Only thing I be keeping is when I get gifts. I keep my gifts, my birthday money. <laughs> you know, like my family still gives me birthday and Christmas money. Then I'll keep that. Because he gets his own. So then he I don't get that. my own. I don't got no family giving me money. But the, my family gives you money. They don't give me no money, man. What are you talking you about? Like for $50? Christmas? Like, That's, oh, excuse me. Just something? $50. Now it's a little something. I'm just saying it's not enough for me to hoard from the family. Yeah, I mean, like I'm just getting 50 or 100 gum. still. It's still money that I can keep. Now, I'm not running away with it, <laughs> but it's still money I can keep. So we're a household that we put everything together. I know people believe that um, some people's values is that the man would pay for everything or majority of it. When we first started out and we were in the house in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. I was paying for... 
What was I paying for? I think groceries and cable. Yeah. And you were paying for rents and then whatever whatever else we had. Not much expenses, I guess. Yeah. So groceries and cable is what I would pay for because I was making significantly less. Um, and then we were just boyfriend and girlfriend at that time. So it was like, at that time, it was no merging of money specifically. But once we got married, it was like green light to that. So that's another thing, too, is like, how do you manage your money before you get, before you even get to that stage? So... Boyfriend and girlfriend, engagement, mm-hmm. marriage. Engagement, I think that brings it another step closer to being more serious, so you tend to do more things. Yeah, I think at the engagement stage, that might have been when we merged our... Oh, we, we got, created a, we our, got an account. So we got a engaged, and then we created a, Chase a, bank, a account. bank account at mm-hmm. Chase, and we started putting money into that account. We put the money into that account to help to pay for the wedding. Yep. That's where all the money was going to be. All, we both still had our extra money, you know, our own money is in our own bank, wherever that was. But that Chase account was specifically for that. And we were communicating of like, this is how much we're going to need upcoming. I could put in two. Can you put in three? So on and so forth. And at that time, you had a way higher paying job than I did. Yeah. So that was another thing as well. But I think keeping the expectations and communication open will be essential for <laughs> any relationship, but specifically when it comes to marriage, because money is like the number one reason why people divorce. And it seems so simple to discuss, but I know many people that have difficulty doing it though. Gabrielle Union was talking about, mm-hmm. I know she had went viral by talking about that 50, 50 comment, but mm-hmm. she was like, I deal with financial trauma. She was mentioning, mm-hmm. there's a bunch of things that wasn't mentioned when she went viral a couple, of course, a couple weeks back. The- she mentioned that they're supporting a whole nother household. Well, no, they're um, both no, they're both supporting multiple households. Is what she said, like um, he supports maybe. Break that down. I don't. I don't. You know more than me when it. Comes well, to no, that. she says like he supports maybe one or two households. She supports another two households. So maybe it's a combined of four households that they're supporting plus their household. Mm. So she was saying this is what like this like you said the trauma this works for her of being able to just split it fifty fifty and for no one feeling like ex, you know so on and so forth. To an, once again, I'm not in their tax bracket, so it's what I say is kind of null and void. But <laughs> at one point, I can get the conversation of people saying, like, I don't know how much D Wade makes. Let's say 300 million. Let's go with that. Um, I can get the conversation of D Wade makes 300 million uh, uh, 10 years. So it'd be like 30 million a year. Okay, so he makes 30 million. Probably let's about, say, probably about 10 let's million. say D Wade is making 30 million a year, and she's That's making. That's still pretty high. He's, I'd probably say about. Along with 15. other things, the NBA, do they give you a pension when you leave? <laughs> I think he, he has some endorsements. Let's, let's go with like, 30 a year to 10. make it. Okay, now 10. he's down to 10. I was at 300 a year for him. Now he's down to 10. So say he's getting 10 million a year and she's no more getting, exactly, and she's getting 3 million a year. That sounds about right. So to hear that of someone saying, when I'm splitting that 50 50, that sounds very bizarre. I would agree to that. Like someone is making significantly more than you. Why would you be doing 50-50? But what works in your household works in your household. And if they're putting it together, kind of like it doesn't really matter is how I see it. 